Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some ARK Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Now today, um, I have decided that we are going to go and tame ourselves a mammoth. I think that is going to be the thing to do today. And uh, because of that, I decided to try and craft up this Ascendant Mammoth Saddle that we have. Now actually, um, the smithy only holds 75 slots, and so I actually had to move um, all of the crafting materials into our beaver here, which has the smithy saddle. Um, in order to be able to craft that saddle, but I did do it. Um, we now officially have this Ascendant Mammoth saddle, which has 115 armor, which is pretty good. Uh, so hopefully, if we do get a Mammoth, it won't uh, have too much trouble getting around. Um, so what we're going to do is take the Trank Darts again. Um, grab that. We'll go ahead and grab some Narcotic, just in case. Um, and we'll take that as food, I guess. Let me see. Do we need anything else, guys? I think we should be okay in terms of stuff. Um, and I do need a soothing bomb, which I think I've also kept over here. And there we go. No, where did I put my soothing bomb? I had a couple. I did have a couple of them. And I can't remember where I placed them, guys. Um, check all the vaults here. There they are. Um, so I did go ahead and run the Skylord Cave recently, and so... Um, I did get a couple of soothing bombs from doing that. It's a great way to get a soothing bomb um, if you're kind of running short on taming materials. Uh, the Skylord Cave, the Northwest Cave, I'll go ahead and show you. In the upper left-hand corner of the map in the snow biome, just past the blue obelisk there, that is the place you can get soothing bombs and uh, flak blueprints. And it's pretty great. I got these new uh, flak leggings, which are actually an insane amount of armor. I think they're like 700 armor. All right. Um, mammoths eat raptor kibble, so instead of getting a bunch of berries, what I'm actually going to do is come down here to this chef station that I have and craft up some raptor kibble that way. Um, I do hate how I have to scroll through everything. I wish there was a search function here. All right, so three raptor kibble should be more than enough to get us any mammoth we can happen to find. And so I'm going to go ahead and start flying out there, guys, and I will bring you back when I find a mammoth that we are planning to tame. So I'll see you in just a little bit. Okay, guys, we are back, and over here, it's a little hard to see. There is a level 140 mammoth right there. Um, unfortunately, there are a lot of other things in the area that I'm not too happy about having. Uh, but this is a pretty high level mammoth, uh, so mammoths aren't too hard to find. They're kind of all over the snow biome here. Man, we are going to have to do something about some of these rexes. Uh, otherwise we are just going to get slaughtered out here, unfortunately. Um, so this is the mammoth, right? This one? Yes. This is the level 140. It's not the prettiest mammoth in the world, but it will work. Uh, we can probably lead it more away from stuff if we land kind of over here. Yeah, sort of away from the Rexes and things. Um, Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and hit passive there. Now, mammoths are aggressive, so I'm going to do this without a trap. I'm just going to trank it from a distance. There we go. And we're going to see if we can get it out. Um, this could be a bit of a challenge, I cannot lie. Uh... They are actually kind of tough if they come up on you and you don't have a ton of armor. But um, if you're on any other sort of creature, they're actually pretty easy to take down. I don't. I think headshots do reduce damage on these guys, so this might be a bit of a challenge trying to like uh, run around and get body shots on them. So, ah, just like this, run while we do this. Nope. Stay. Stay. Nope, nope, I like this rock. This rock is useful. Butt shot. There we go. Oh, I love when I can plug them in. There we go. Okay, so they're pretty easy to take down. Uh, you can also do this with a crossbow pretty easily. Um, just don't get hit too often is kind of my suggestion on that. Uh, that can be difficult, obviously, since they are mammoths. Um, and they're actually faster than they appear. So, all right. I want to make sure the area is clear before I attempt to actually get this thing tamed up. 
Um, it would also be good to let it get a little bit hungry. So what I am going to do is go down here. Uh, I'm probably going to kill these, this wolf and this RG just in case. Whoop. Oh, level 100 wolf. That's actually not the worst level I've seen. Hmm. I am trying to figure out, um, I know that you can tame wolves from the ice cave by getting their implants. RG, can you not? But I'm not sure if that's actually considered an exploit by Wardrum at this time. And so that is why I have not 1v1 a Rex right here with a sword. Oh, it's a good thing that armor's nice. Nope, quit. Ah, uh, there we go. All right. Eh, chop that up as meat for my bird. Okay, are you going to come after me? You are. Oh, a level 110 RG. That's tempting guys but I think we can do better um yeah I want like a level 135 or above which are not too hard to find in the snow biome they're kind of everywhere so just have to fly around a while I can find a better RG um I am gonna tame one of these guys also very soon I would like to trap tame them if possible uh I think trap taming works a little bit better on those guys all right where am I down here I'm over here all right, um, so as I was saying, I don't know if the dire wolf uh, taming in the caves, in the ice cave, because um, you can kill them and then revive their implant and then basically get like a really, really strong wolf just by doing that. Okay, um, this should do it. Yeah, three kibble should do it. That is close, though. Um I might pick a few berries just in case. I'm a little bit paranoid. So um, it once I find out whether or not that's actually considered an exploit, if that's considered like a feature of the game at this point, um, we'll probably be going into the ice cave to get some direwolf implants. And if it is considered an exploit, I will be taming regular direwolves out here and just trying to get a really good imprinted one because uh, I do want to do some more caves um, in the future here. And the ice cave is now extra tough since the wolves got their uh, pack buff. So we're going to have to check that out. Um, oh, it's going to be great, guys. And uh, I'm so excited for the new update coming out. And Arc Extinction for PC is coming out in November. That's just over a month away, guys. I cannot believe it. So I'm actually going to look into getting a server set up for that um, in the upcoming weeks here as well. And oh my gosh, lots of exciting things going on. And uh, I don't know, guys, I'm looking forward to it all. And hopefully you all are as well, because I can't wait for all of these new things. Um, I know a lot of people are really busy, what with school and stuff. But uh, hopefully everyone will still have time to play their Arc Mobile. And if they play PC, to play PC. And uh, we'll all have a good time. All right. Okay. Yep. Always waiting for the mammoths. Actually, what level are these other ones? Be kind of cool to get a breeding pair, although I actually don't need to breed anything since the server is always right around the tame limit. Um, female. There is another rhino over there. And we do need to name the rhino that we tamed up um, last week, actually. I do have it still sitting at base. I am kind of sorting through the names. We've had a lot of good name suggestions. Um, so that will be coming up soon. Maybe I'll actually look at that before we get this guy back to base. Um, yeah, we might be able to do that. We're probably going to just wander around the snow biome a little bit with this mammoth um, and uh, try, to, try to do some damage. Mammoths are really good for harvesting wood. Uh, so maybe we'll gather up some of that while we're out here. I kind of want to see how much they gather because the beaver gathers quite a bit. Um, it's not as much as the fairy. So the fairy gathers the most wood of any creature I've seen, but the fairy doesn't have the weight buff, whereas the mammoth and the beaver do. So that's kind of why I'm really interested in getting a mammoth, just to see if they harvest close to the same amount as a fairy um, while getting that weight buff, then it's gonna be worth keeping a mammoth around the base. Can we do it? Oh, yes. It's beautiful. Level 209. That is not bad, guys. Not bad at all. 6k health is pretty good to start. Um, stamina is all right, and that weight is pretty good. And the melee is high as well, which is great because if you put more melee into them, um, 
I think they get more resources out of each uh, thing that they hit, which is great if you're trying to harvest fast. Can we... I, I can't get on. Can I... Why can't I get on? No? Is it because you're standing on a rock? It's probably because it's standing on a rock, but I actually can't mount right now. It's too high. Oh, wait, wait, I saw it. There was an angle. There was an angle. We'll just sneak there. Oh, got it. <laughs> that was a little bit painful. Uh, it was a little too high. Um, I have the same problem with, uh, what are they? Ankylosaurus. Um, so I have the same problem with Ankies, where sometimes they're just a little bit too high for me to get onto. I have to, like, jump and mount. Um, I don't know if anyone else has experienced that, but it can be kind of an issue. Alright. Um, we did use everything else, so we are good now. I'm gonna go ahead and wander around a little bit. Alright, so mammoths aren't the speediest thing in the world. Um, I didn't really expect them to be, but they're definitely not as slow as some things. Alright, so about 50 wood per hit. So, oh man, okay, 60. That's not too bad, guys. Um, especially since they get the weight buff, uh, you can get quite a bit of weight pretty quickly with a mammoth. So, I definitely think this is going to be useful to keep around. Oh no, an aloe. Um, what level is that aloe? We do need to tame those, guys. Uh, that is really high on my list. Level 80. Are you all alone? Do you have a friend? Because you don't have the alpha buff. So if there's a high level, um, a level 80 is not the worst aloe I've ever seen, but I would like to get one over level 100 if I can find one. Uh, the problem is that they're actually a little bit hard to find. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, Quetzidia following us, which will be a little bit annoying visually, but uh, at least we won't die. It won't get eaten by the aloe. Because it is on passive right now. Um, which actually reminds me, uh, nope, I want it on neutral. There we go. Um, it will get in the way, but I mostly want it on neutral so that, um, wow, it's spazzing out. Poor Quetzidia. I mostly want it on neutral so that if it gets attacked, um, it has a chance to not die because I left it on passive in my base the other day and uh, it died to a terror bird, which was kind of terrible. So I had to revive Ketsidia recently uh, for that reason. And I was not happy about it, guys. So definitely gonna be more careful. Level 95 RG. I definitely want a better one. We can do it. Um, come here. Ugh. We're gonna get it. I just hope they don't circle too high. I will have to put Quetzidia on passive if it starts to circle. The thing with flyers is that RGs, when they attack, they get pushed up. Um, and if that happens, yeah, it can be it can be a problem. All right, we'll go ahead and move back down this way. Whoop. There we go. Oh yeah, guys, we are gonna get all of the wood. I'm super excited. The wood is going to be really useful for um, continuing the build in the base, which I'm sort of starting to put together. Um, yeah, I need to do a little bit more work on it. It's been a busy week, but hopefully I'll have some time to keep doing stuff this weekend. And yeah, I'm super excited about it. I'm, I'm trying to get to level 80 so I can get an industrial forge. It's been a little bit difficult um, with time constraints and the level growth on these servers. It's a little bit slower after a while. Um, it just does. It's unfortunate, but that's how ARC works. Um, yeah, so the eventual goal is to get to level 100. Um, but for now, we're just uh, kind of coasting along doing what we're doing. Oh my gosh. We're getting all of the wood, and I love it so, so much, guys. Uh, can we? Yeah, there we go. We can open the inventory. Oh, oh it's good. Ugh. It makes me happy, guys. <laughs> um... I really love to get a vault capped with resources. I think that's super fun. So um, I think this mammoth is going to get me a lot closer to getting a vault that is capped with wood. I think that would be absolutely amazing. It would be really, really useful to uh, not have to worry about collecting any wood for a long time. Um, are there any other interesting creatures? I'm still going to be checking RG levels. Uh, no, I did have my spyglass out. Blip. What do we got here? Um, that's actually a decent level Anki, 105. Ugh. Okay, and 
just that aloe. That level 80 aloe, which, mm, yeah, it'll probably win that fight. Let's face it. Aloes are pretty tough. All right, so nothing good there. That's unfortunate. Um, let's go down this way towards the Central Valley uh, and kind of start making our way back towards base. I believe you can actually pick these guys up with a Quetzalia, um, <laughs> a Quetzal. Oh, my goodness. That was uh, a little bit derpy of me. Can you... Quetzalia, can you not... Oh my gosh, I know it's following the mammoth, but really, you can stop for two seconds. Thank you. Can we? Yes. Oh my gosh, guys. I feel like that is really um, OP, that you can carry a mammoth with a Quetzal. Um, I know there are a lot of creatures you can carry with the Quetzal, but the mammoth seems like it should be one of those creatures that just isn't carryable. Uh, I mean, like, it's... It looks ridiculous. Like, how can this Quetzal carry this huge, heavy mammoth? I don't know. And Pelt's supposed to be heavy. Look at all the mammoths. Um, all of the friends. Ooh, another Rex. Where is it? Level 40 female. Boo. I want a better Rex. All right. <laughs> I'm, like, shopping for creatures. Every time I come to the snow biome, I'm like, I have to check everything out just in case there's something that I want. Um, I didn't even have to go that deep into it to find this particular mammoth, so uh, I'm actually... Alright, we'll go ahead and get back on the mammoth uh, to make a little bit more progress here. I just wanted to test and make sure I wasn't wrong about the Quetzal. Um, so you can pick them up with a Quetzal, which is great, but uh, I still think it's a little bit more fun to kind of walk them around just by hand for a while get all of the wood while we're going oh my gosh guys so one more thing I did want to mention about the mammoth um, and this is something I've seen other people bring up on occasion too is that I actually think the mammoth should have a platform saddle um, maybe that would make it a little bit too OP I don't know but like the Pariser has a platform saddle the Diplo um, doesn't but it has the 10 passenger saddle so, like, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me that the Mammoth doesn't have, if not a platform saddle, at least, like, a multi-person saddle. Like, you should be able to have three or four people on a Mammoth. Like, they are they're pretty big, right? So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And also leave some name suggestions for this uh, beautiful giant that we have just tamed up here. Ugh. It is, it is good. I really am pretty happy that I finally got the mammoth out of the way. <laughs> I've been meaning to tame one pretty much since the series started, um, and we finally did it, which is amazing. Like, it's going to be useful, guys. All right, we're going to kind of slowly beat our way back towards the green obelisk here as we're going along. Um, is that metal? That looks like amber from a distance. It kind of freaked me out. Ugh. I would love to get more amber, honestly. That is a thing. I had to spend quite a bit um, reviving Quetzadilla, so I'm a little bit short on amber um, compared to where I was like a week ago, unfortunately, but uh, that's all right. I will keep watching ads. Oh, an iguanodon. Oh, my friend. Oh, it's a level 100 female. That's not bad, guys. That's actually not bad. Oh, we have bugs. Okay, killed the bugs. I'm gonna let it roam free. If I see a level 150, um, I'm definitely gonna have to tame it, but I wanna save it up, guys. I wanna get a good Iguanodon um, for our next one because uh, it just has to be a thing. We need to do some like serious Iguanodon breeding at some point. Um, I'll probably actually do that on solo player rather than on here since Craig's is already crowded. And I actually do have some Kets and Giga eggs to take care of on this server. Um, which is a bit of a challenge for me, honestly, time-wise at the moment, but uh, I don't want to let those eggs go to waste because they were gifts from fans and they are beautiful, and I definitely want to make sure that I get those hatched up at some point. Um, and in the meantime, I don't want to be using tame slots on things that are not um, absolutely necessary on the game necessarily. So, all right, getting close. That has beautiful horns, um, that Megaloceros does. Where did it go? There it is. Oh, it's only level 20, but it's so pretty. 
was very pretty. I'm impressed by it. All right, slowly down the hill. Okay. Eh. Mammoths are good, guys, but they are a little bit clunky to, like, kind of wander around on. Oh my gosh, we need all the wood. We still have to build up the base for the Parasaur um, platform as well. And, oh my gosh, it's going to be... It's going to be good. I think I want to put the RG trap on that um, as kind of like a mobile RG trap, but that may or may not be something that's easy to do. So um, I'm going to give it a try. We're going to see if it works uh, coming up here in the next few episodes when we find an RG that we actually want. No, no, no. Passive. Don't, don't do that. Quetzadilla is getting all up in people's business. That's not good. Just because the scorpion hit you while it was aiming for someone else doesn't mean we should stop and try to fight it. Ugh. Especially not in such a crowded area. I also really want to tame one of these packy rhinos, guys. Um, oh my gosh. What? What? Uh. Alright. Well, that needs to be a thing. Um. Okay. So. Everyone stop. Everyone passive. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to kill some stuff. A Dillo. Why does a Dillo attack? Okay, uh. How am I gonna tame a Packy Rhino, guys? Um. You need bug repellent to tame them, and I don't have any on me right now. So, what I may do is hop on Quetzadilla, and, um. Maybe I'll take this thing back to base. That may be the way to go. Oh no. No. No, no, no. No, RG. Oh my god, RGs are the worst. Argies are the literal worst. Um, okay. It needs to come at a lower... It needs to be lower so I can hit it. I can't kill it without killing the packy. Ugh. Oh my gosh, guys. This is, this is awful. We're gonna have to come down towards the beach. Um, dang it. Alright. So I'm gonna grab that packy rhino and take it back to base and then craft up some bug repellents. That needs to be a thing. Ugh. So we're gonna hop on Quetzadilla here. And carry the mammoth back to base now. Um, yeah, and we'll come back for that packy rhino because that that just needs to be a thing. Um, it may not be in this episode. That may be the next one now. But uh, I'm definitely going to have that thing. I cannot pass up a level 150 anything uh, if I can help it. Oh my gosh, that is an insane amount of building there. That's, that's a decent little bridge. Um, interesting. Uh, it's always interesting to see what people can do with their builds. Alright guys, so, um, if you did find yourself enjoying this video at any point, uh, cause I do think we're gonna end off there, please do remember to hit that like button, it seriously helps me out. And if you wanna see more content like this, uh, you can, of course, subscribe. Uh, if you wanna see a packy rhino taming, definitely subscribe. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Signing off, this is the Iguana.